At the trial of former government minister Milton Orkopoulos, one of his alleged child sex victims has been giving evidence. The man claims he was assaulted twice by the former MP, who warned him not to talk about it. Taking the stand, the man, now in his early 20s, was careful not to make eye contact with the former MP as he detailed the abuse he allegedly suffered over a period of two and a half years. In 2004, when he was 16, he says Orkopoulos took him to Parliament House where they smoked a cannabis joint on the balcony of his office. The next day, they attended a national ALP conference together before going back to this hotel. There, Orkopoulos allegedly indecently assaulted the teenager before saying, I'd love to have you. The alleged victim said he flinched and was absolutely scared that Orkopoulos wanted to have sex with him. The witness says Orkopoulos allegedly talked about his sexual experiences with men. Whatever conversations we had were to stay between us because if anybody knew what he was telling me, it wouldn't be good for him. The alleged victim was asked why he didn't tell his parents about the incident. He said they, like most people, saw Orkopoulos to be a charismatic politician and that he feared they wouldn't believe him. A year and a half later, he says Orkopoulos indecently assaulted him again, this time at Swansea. The trial continues. Jessica Rich, National 9 News.